is Brian Campbell. I'm a forensic investigator for the state of New York. I hold a degree in forensic science and medical examination. I was part of the team that investigated Mr. Jeffrey Epstein's death, and I've come here today to tell you the truth about it. A lot of folks are really wondering, did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? And I mean, I know we're going to get dive deep into this, but right off the bat, what do you, what was your conclusion from the case? The answer is no. After thorough investigation, I concluded that Jeffrey Epstein did, in fact, kill himself. Hmm. It was a suicide, and I'm going to tell you the truth about it. Huh. Okay. That's interesting, because a lot of the conspiracies, or a lot of really the evidence that's been going around, a lot of internet sleuths are concluding that Epstein was possibly murdered and didn't actually kill himself. Um... And I know when me and you spoke on the phone, you kind of wanted to break it down into some of those main topics. So if you could, since you worked on this case, kind of let's talk about and tackle each of those topics. Because when me and Giselle were talking too, there's a lot of suspicious things around Epstein's death. Um, and uh, his physical death itself, what did you find with that? Actually, Tony... Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his jail cell from an apparent hanging. Mm -hmm. And our investigation proved this to be true. Conspiracists claim that his bunk bed wasn't high enough for him to commit suicide and to hang himself. But this simply is not true. Mr. Epstein was able to hang himself from a six foot bunk bed by curling himself up into the fetal position and then cannonballing off of the top of the bunk with the noose around his neck. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I had heard that. I, I heard, heard that, that too. Yeah. So I think you actually, you supplied us some images from your investigation. Dirk, if you want to pull up um, one of them here. So this is kind of like a dramatic recreation that, I mean, obviously this isn't a real photo, but you're saying this is kind of what it would have looked like on how he pulled this off. Because you could see the bunk bed is kind of short. Uh, like Epstein was, uh, I don't know, at least probably five foot, close to six foot. Um, he wouldn't really be able to hang himself from that. So you're saying he got in a position like a cannonball fetal position and this is how it would have been done? This is true, Tony, and it's proven. And that's actually a good rec recreation right there. Uh-huh. Uh, regarding his hyoid bone that people have speculated right. was a murder. We also concluded that that is not actually true. What he did do was, in his panic, he grabbed his own throat and broke his own hyoid bone with his own hands. Mm -hmm. Interesting, because one of the main questions people had was, from what I know, I mean, you're, you have a medical degree, I don't, but <clears throat> people say that a breakage of the hyoid bone is more consistent with a strangling than it is of a hanging. Is that is that much true? But that would make sense if he strangled himself, like uh, Brian is saying, yeah. He was in a panic. Yeah, he strangled himself, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I think you said you have another image showing this as well. Mm. There so, it is, there it is, yeah. Right, so he's hanging, and he has his hands around his own neck, kind of in a panic, and he snapped his, he strangled his own self, you're saying, and snapped his own hyoid bone? He finished himself off. Yeah, 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 huh. Yeah. Something he wasn't used to doing with his uh, arrows, as far as I know. Um, well, that explains that, because I know the hyoid bone was um, really one of the main catching points and people saying that this wasn't a suicide, this was a murder. Yeah, so. but this explains it, so right. it's clear as day. I right, mean, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything else? Like, what was his, like, state of mind or... What, like, what was that like around the time he died? He One was, of the things that we checked out was his horoscopes. And it seems at the time, his horoscope mentioned that he should be very sad and very depressed at about this time. Mm. And regarding those horoscopes, we concluded that he was in a suicidal state. <laughs> you look at his horoscope. Oh, Giselle, you're into like, astrology. <laughs> like you looked at his chart? We saw uh, multiple horoscopes, and they all uh, indicated the same outcome for him. Oh, interesting. So mm. that was for like the month he died. He was 
supposedly supposed to be in a very like sad state of mind, you're saying? Correct. Huh. Is that usual for like government investigations to look at astrology like that? It's gotta look at it from every angle, man. Yeah. That like, does make sense, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So his horoscope kind of helped you guys solve the case? It was helpful for sure. <laughs> okay, that's new to me. Um well, it's not that alone. It's when you put all the evidence together, mm. you, you combine, you don't take one thing and draw a conclusion. I'm True. sure that's how it works. You take evidence from different avenues and combine them together. Uh-huh. Correct. We're a team. Right. We gather exactly. yeah, different from people. various avenues. There you go. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have heard stories of like FBI and stuff using psychics to like find where a dead body is and stuff. So this is kind of... In the same vein. Of oh, and you had the men who stare at goats, the military, mm. right? They would blow up goats with their minds. You've, you've heard of that, right, Giselle? No. You never heard of them blowing? Yep. They made a whole no. movie about they that. They made a movie with George Clooney, right? right. George no, Clooney. I didn't see it. <laughs> Giselle, oh watch I thought you'd be. I thought you'd be into that stuff. Well, so, like, if you say astrology, does that mean that someone, like, looked at his birth chart and saw where all his planets were at that moment in time of, for his life? Cause yeah, it said he was sad. Correct. The full, the full uh, uh, astrological spectrum. Mm -hmm. There you go. Wow. All right. That's cool. Uh, and what, what what sign was he? Does that, oh that play a factor? <laughs> I don't know. Giselle, aren't you into astrology? <laughs> yeah, but it's just I have no idea what Epstein's sign is. He was like actually an Aquarius. Wow. Does that wow. make sense? Well, they say that the Aquarius is like don't even bother trying to understand them. That they're mm. they're basically in their own world. Uh, but they're supposed to be. <laughs> but they're supposed to be caring about the planet as a whole and mm. looking at it. Like in my theory, if someone's going to communicate with aliens, it's going to be an Aquarius. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. He might mm, maybe. The, mm. Yeah, I wonder. All right, so that kind of covers his physical death. Um, one of the other anomalies on the night of his death. Making a 